Hello everyone, another week of trading has passed for me uh, since I shared with you my trading plans. So today it is time to do a quick recap on those plans. Let's get to it. Here I am in our trading view profile and the first plan we're going to cover is our main weekly plan based on the USD Japanese Yen uh, where I expected around 200 pips of a movement. Let's see what happened with it and we'll discuss further into it after that. So a few words, uh, the price has reached this weekly resistance area. I expected a bounce from that area and a drop to probably this weekly support if the trend channel is broken. So let's see how it worked out. As you can see, the plan af uh, soon after published executed perfectly, it dropped uh, outside of the trend channel, stayed there for a while and dropped down to that weekly support area covering the full area. Uh, as you can see, uh, the 200 pips were made. I wasn't able to update you with the live signal based on this plan, but you could have caught that move if you watched the plan before it happened. And uh, today I also want to discuss um, two possible opportunities for entries which you could have taken. As you can see now on the screens, I have opened the current uh, H4 time frame chart of the USD Japanese Yen and I just want to show you two possible entries that you could have taken. So the first one, uh, I want to say first actually that this uh, blue line represents where my plan was posted or as you can see if I uh, hover through uh, over this uh, small rectangle here. It shows the plan itself. Uh, first of all, uh, I have turned on the Bollinger Bands and my first entry would have been on this candle here and the close of it. Now, why? Uh, first of all, because as we can see, the Bollingers formed a squeeze in this area and the squeeze was broken by this candle and also uh, the break of this squeeze confirms that uh, the bounce of this weekly resistance is happening. Although this entry here is a little bit risky because we have this uh, trend channel and we might see a stop and a bounce from uh, the trend line. In this case we got lucky and no bounce was uh, happened but if you prefer to play it safe I would consider entering on this candle here why because I'm going to turn on the Ichimoku uh, indicator now actually this candle would be better I would consider entering here although uh, most half of the movement has already happened but at the same time the price broke out of the uh, trend channel which is a good indication that the downtrend will continue and also with this candle it the price broke through the Ichimoku cloud which is again another confirmation for the downtrend so even if you want to play it safe you could have entered here and just wait for the price to reach this weekly support before taking some of the profits. Uh, there are a lot of other opportunities of course on the lower time frames but I'm just covering those two on the H4 time frame. Now uh, let's get a move on with the next trading plan I shared with you. The second trading plan I have shared with you throughout the last week uh, was on Friday. It was based on the odd uh, Canadian dollar and uh, especially on the uh, one hour time frame. The point of the plan was to trade it short term. Uh, I'm opening it now so we can see what happened on it. As you can see, my expectations were for the price to bounce of this resistance area and reach to this target by the end of the day or possibly this second target level. Let's see what happened. As we can see, Yes, the price reached the second uh, target level, but that happened today. Uh, when the plan was posted, we had a small uh, move down 
and then an explosion back up uh, before the markets closed. So I consider this plan not valid and that it didn't work out. Although after that move, we saw a huge drop uh, from the start of this week, reaching to the uh, to our first target and now reaching to our second target. No life signals were posted on this trading plan. If you managed to catch uh, this movement this week, good for you. You've backed in some additional profits. And uh, you can check my new weekly trading plan, which I posted yesterday, and await the next recap next week. So I wish everyone a profitable week and have a good day. Thank you.